Hi. So, before introducing about myself, I would like to introduce our guest, Mr. Mayank, who has secured all India rank 32 in the gate examination. First of all, congratulations, Mayank. So, myself, Prashant, and today, Mayank will be sharing his thought and his success mantra about achieving this great success in his life. What he has achieved today is still the dreams of many students because some of, some of them have got stuck with their in-campus or off-campus of jobs and some, got, some are like confused, some don't know where to start and how to prepare for different things. So here Mayank will be sharing his thoughts on different questions and the most asked questions about the gate examination, when to start, how to start and how he prepared he is going to share everything. Along with that, he is also going to share some tips which will be really beneficial for you and if you prepare accordingly, you will definitely achieve all India ranks. Oh, hi Mayank, uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate you for getting an AI year of 32, which is not really easy. That too, you know, uh, in a competitive exam like GATE, which is one of the toughest examination. So, a uh, very hearty congratulations to you and your parents. Thanks a lot. Okay. Uh, so tell us about uh, how was your uh, reaction, you know, when you saw your results, uh, what was in your mind and how was your reaction, your parents' reaction? Tell me everything. Yeah, actually, after uh, after GATE, around, uh, after around two weeks after GATE, I uh, checked my uh, checked my answer key on a, on a rank predictor. And it okay. uh, it said my rank would be around uh, 200 or 250. So oh, I was actually, uh, that time I was very demotivated and uh, I actually accepted that later on. And uh, while, while when I was uh, going for my result, at that time I wasn't, I wasn't, I was thinking that my rank would be around 250, 200. So I was just thinking about that. Uh, I'll just get into the top five IITs, that's it. But when I saw the rank 32, I was actually, I was shocked that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How can I get this rank when the predictor said that I wouldn't get uh, below 200 in any case, but uh, yeah, I finally I got it. That's a very rare, rare case, right? So whenever the predictor says, mostly the ranks are almost same. So it's really a shock. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so tell us about uh, how were you as a school child? Like you were always studious like this or you also had those mischievous times back in school getting punished by your teachers? How was your school? Yeah, the, it was actually the other students used to think that I am very studious because uh, I used to get uh, good marks in exams. But uh, it, it was not the case. I was not at all studious. I was uh, always into sports and all. And I, I never, I uh, very rarely I studied. I studied just before the exams during the school as well. But uh, I got good marks. The people were not uh, ready to believe me that I don't study that much. They were like, no, you are lying. You are a very studious person, but actually I was not. I was more into sports. I like to play cricket, play cricket a lot. I always uh, used to play. Whenever I went home, I uh, straight away went to the ground to play cricket. And all mm -hmm. most of the times I was found on the ground playing cricket. Okay. So you believe that there has to be an equilibrium between studies and extracurricular activities, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. Uh, so tell us about your college experience. So you're from KG Somaya College of Mumbai, which is one of the top college there. So how was your experience being a college student there? Yeah, uh, the uh, college is very good. Actually, it's autonomous. So the uh, professors are good and uh, we do not have as much, as much pressure as the Mumbai University students face. Okay. Uh, because of many reasons that uh, uh, it's only, it's our teachers who set the papers. It's our teachers who correct the papers. Yeah, yeah. So, so that that is a little bit of a benefit, but that sometimes is a disadvantage as well, because sometimes our papers are more difficult than Mumbai University. <laughs> uh, but overall, uh, KJ Sumaya is very good because uh, you there is a lot of extracurricular in KJ Sumaya. Uh, you get in the uh, where when the year starts, you have the uh, uh, shield 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 is an inter inter department interdepartment sports like uh, there are five departments in engineering all the five departments compete with each other so there is sports in that there is cultural cultural then there is a 
sing uh, in cultures there is singing dancing and many other and then there is the the scream scream you might have heard of it's an yeah. all india fest mm -hmm. organized by somaya so uh, all the year around somaya has a lot of extra curriculars going on so it okay. was never hectic in, in terms of studies so we we always had something uh, to do apart from studies and uh, we uh, we did not feel that much stress related to studies uh, because uh, at any time there is something going on there okay sounds good so yeah there is a like there has to be a stress buster right so we can't be yeah. always studying studying and studying i agree yeah okay so was like when was the time when you decide that you know gate is something that you should start preparing and this is something you want to do in life like was it always a thought on in your mind like from the time you joined the college or it was a uh, like you know it was like generated in your mind after like you know a certain situation or oh, how was it when did you decide uh from uh, actually from uh, first year second year i was of, i was thinking that i don't want to study further i just i just will do job uh, after my fourth year and uh, i will continue there i'll uh, look for better jobs i'll uh, work hard there but in the, uh, when the lockdown was declared in march and uh, after one or two months around may i started to think that uh, the jobs are going down we 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 can all see in the news that uh, people are losing jobs the salaries are going down the companies are paying just uh, uh, 80% 70% of the salary so that demoted demotivated me that it is not the right time to take up a job it's the perfect time to go for masters because after two years the situation will be much better and i will get a much better job then so at that time i thought that it's the perfect time that i should go for something else because uh, there are a lit slight lesser chances that i will get a good job right now so then i uh, decided that uh, i will go for masters but in there also the, i had two options first is ms and other is mtech ms i had, uh, it is abroad actually so mm -hmm. for that i decided that i don't want to go abroad i will i want to do everything here in india so then i uh, took up gate and started my preparation around may okay okay that sounds good to me so if you have to give a comment on gate versus a 10 lakh job so how would you put in your thoughts about it gate versus 10 lakh job because there are so many students out there who just invest their time studying just because you know they want to get into a very good package they want to work in an mnc so how would you describe your thoughts about gate versus job what is it to you yeah so uh, both uh, if, if you see in terms of money then a 10 lakh job and a gate will uh, uh, will give you the same returns after some uh, around 5 to 6 years mm -hmm. uh, you you keep working hard in a company you will get promoted you will get you will get increments or you can either change uh, you can also ch uh, change the job and you will get a much better salary in another company but uh, yeah. but uh, uh, both in the in both the cases uh, around 5 to 6 years your uh, your what can i say the position of your position according to your career will be will almost be the same so but okay. uh, but still i give i give a higher priority to gate because uh, if you uh, do gate uh, do mtech from a, a good college like the premier institutes iits and iisc so mm -hmm. that tag will remain with you for the lifetime and exactly. uh, it, it it actually helps a lot to get uh, interviews in big uh, big mncs and all uh, the, the iit tag in the resume helps a lot so uh, you can you uh, in terms of uh, salary and uh, career growth both the options are uh, equally favorable but the iit tag is what uh, gives uh, mtech a higher weightage than the 10 lakh job okay so you know whenever an achiever like you achieve something in life so everybody just keeps on congratulating them okay this is so great and all but uh, what we forget is the hard work behind it so here i would also like to recognize the hard work you know that made you score aia 32 so can you tell us about like how was the prep side like we all saw the results it's really fascinating but how was the hard work where actually you as a person you would have given your 200% right can you tell us about yeah. that yeah so when i started my preparation I was doing an internship in a so uh, i had a little less time at that time so i started to wake up at 4 am in the morning to prepare for gate and uh, around 4 to 5 hours i prepared in the morning then the entire day went in the internship so after the internship ended in around august uh, then uh, the college college started in mid august 
uh, but the colleges were online so that was a benefit for me so that i can give more time to gate uh, gate preparation so the pre the preparation actually demands consistency uh, more than hard work because if you if you uh, if you work hard for around 2 months uh, 10 to 12 hours a day so that won't give you a, as good a result as you uh, working consistently for 7 to 8 months so the gate preparation demanded consistency so it uh, i had to consistently uh, give a, a give a, a decent amount of time to gate preparation uh, until february uh, from when i started around june around may june so this much time i had to give a consist uh, consistently uh, to the gate preparation so uh, that was that you can say is a hard work actually because uh, it's there will be some days where you where you will feel low and you will feel that i don't want to study today so yes i took breaks that way but uh, but then i uh, ultimately i maintained that consistency of uh, giving uh, around 5 6 to 7 hours to gate preparation and it uh, turned out well ultimately okay so you believe that consistency is your mantra right to you know have such a great result okay that sounds really good uh, so what are your thoughts on getting selected in google and other companies i i am sure that you would be very excited to explore your college life in a campus like iit bombay and we all are aware that the companies that come there are like really great right so have you planned anything are you excited you know to be a part of that such journey or something like that yeah you know I, i haven't planned anything but i've heard a lot about lot about it from uh, youtube channels and all that life is great at uh, such colleges iit bombay isc uh, there is a the, the study environment is obviously good we all know that but iit bombay also offers much more there is uh, sports there is culturals there is everything you want at iit bombay yeah so i'm excited i'm actually more excited about that that uh, i'll get so much uh, exposure to different things there yeah i can see that excitement on your face like yeah. it's so you're so positive and you are like so motivated right now that's really good to see so what is your dream package so let's just be very frank that everybody works hard in life you know to reach to that moment where they can earn in lakhs and lakhs right no matter how yeah. much we say or how much we feel that okay we should be staying down to earth but at the end our goal is to what to earn a lot of money right so what is your dream package where do you see yourself after 5 years from now yeah that, that i don't have any dream package as such but i just have kept as a, a dream company because if i get into a dream company uh, they will obviously pay me well in uh, in future or ultimately i'll get good salary if i yeah. get into a good company so my uh, dream is to get into uh, google tower research and uh, yeah and uber is a good company there okay so i would, in uh, these three uh, three four companies i uh, i uh, aim to get into these three four companies there are many more company many more good companies but i have researched about these companies and these seem uh, quite well in terms of the work environment in terms of salary yeah i get it so what could be like uh, like a list of tips uh, like you know maybe top 10 to tw- tips that you can you know give it to college students who are like gate aspirants who are also looking forward to be a part of iits and iisc and etc so what would you say to them what would you recommend them yeah so the first tip is uh, start this uh, start the preparation as early as possible but not that early like i i i got some messages from students who were in the first year and they are saying that we want to prepare for gate don't start so early you have 3 years right now enjoy college life enjoy uh, enjoy your uh, stream do if you are in computer science and do coding do internships get some experience gate preparation you have 3 years more so you can do that later as well and uh, the next tip is that uh, whoever has started the preparation don't leave any concepts even if you find any, uh, some concept difficult or uh, uh, not easy to understand then then to keep doing it don't leave any concept right now you have more than 10 more than 9 or 10 months right now so you have uh, much time to clear uh, to uh, complete all the syllabus so don't leave any concept right now 
the third tip is that solve as many questions as possible take up one or two test series solve that too solve as many practice questions as possible solve all the previous year gate, gate papers around last 20 to 21 years paper and uh, the next tip would be uh, uh, keep motivating yourself self motivation is most important because if you go on youtube you will find that you'll, you'll find thousands of motivational videos but that won't help as much as you motivate yourself so you have to keep motivating yourself that you can do it you, uh, the main the main thing see uh, from uh, air 1 to air 200 almost all the students have the same level of preparation but what distinguishes the top 10 or top 20 uh, Top, top 20 candidates are that uh, is the is their mindset so if you keep your mindset positive for the next uh, few months you will definitely get a good rank because the uh, preparation is another part but keeping yourself motivated and uh, focused towards your goal is uh, is is a very important thing syllabus is completed by 200 300 people but they uh, but all of them don't get into top 10 or top 20 ranks so keeping a good mindset is very important and uh, the next tip would be, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's it. And yeah, the next tip would be that uh, complete your syllabus as much early as possible. Like uh, keep at least three, four months for revision. Don't uh, don't try to extend your syllabus. And uh, in the last month, uh, don't do any new topics. Just keep that last month for revision. Try to complete your your complete syllabus before that. Yeah, so that's it, I guess, this much tips. Okay, thank you so much, Mayung, for those tips. I think that would definitely help the students across the globe, you know, to aim for a very good preparation, no matter for whichever exam they are preparing for. So may I know, uh, who's your inspiration? Who do you look up to? Like, is it somebody from your family? Anybody, like, from your teachers? Or, like, who's your inspiration? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, I, I follow Ravindra Babu on YouTube. Uh, I, I watched a lot of his videos. He had taken interviews of many uh, gate aspirants, not gate aspirants, but people who have already cleared gate, who have got a good rank under 50, under 100. So I watched their videos. I got a lot of inspiration from that. And uh, then uh, I, I started to think that if they can do it, why can't I? So I get, get, up, get up at that time and uh, thought that I can also do it. That's the right spirit, right? So when we do, just because many people just watch inspiration videos and they get happy about, you know, somebody else achieving something in life, but they never make up their mind, you know, one day I also have to reach to that point. So the message that you took from those inspirational videos is something really motivating for others, I feel. So once again, I really thank you a lot, Mayang, for, you know, joining us. And especially first mentor wishes you all the best for your future endeavors. And I hope that we get a chance to interview again. Uh, once you reach to that uh, height, you know, maybe working in Google or something. And we do get an opportunity to connect again. Mark. All the really best. Thanks a lot. And thanks for calling me. Thank you.